Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. This is the first Sunday of the month, so tonight is the monthly draw. Some really nice prizes, as my chromatar, um, extreme engineering cup, a hat, a bell end scraper, a um, set of drills, cuddly toy, some really nice presents or prizes, and Debs is going to do the draw for us a little bit later on. I'm going to do another one next month with similar prizes. Um, I'll probably show them later on. If you want to enter the draw, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. And all I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. It's drawn out. The prize gets sent off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I've got people sending me things in now just to be given away. Um, it's, point, it's me keeping all this stuff, I'll never use it all, so I'd rather give it away to somebody that can make use of it. If you win something and you don't want it, give it to somebody that can use it. Anyway, certainly well worth entering. Good evening everybody, I hope you're all well and safe in this times we're in. So anyway, it's the monthly draw for John and you've got your prizes here. And all the names are in the hat. And the lucky winner is... These are the prizes for next month's straw. There's a mug there from Extreme Plasma. Extreme Plasma actually sponsor my YouTube channel. There's a bell end T slot cleaner. You can't go wrong with a bell end T slot cleaner. Set of Cleveland drills, half mil to ten. These are good. I bought quite a lot of these just to give away, and they're all good drills. And of course, a double boost hat. And one extra prize a nice set of snap gauges. I got these given. Um, I've already got a set, a set I've got a slightly better quality than these but these are better than the, the cheap imported stuff, they're a decent set they'll be included hey, I see if you if you win this and you don't want these, you've got a set give them to somebody that can use them or swap them or share things around a little bit but we can certainly deal with some some sharing around at the minute Is the tap and drill for 12 mil, 10.2 mil drill. Tap starts, that's all I really need. I'll do the fend by hand. That's well in there now. For 
if I park this off, I think I'll put a nail on that part there, and then I'll probably machine two flats on it as well, just so you can tighten it into, into the flywheel. I'll put a nail and tool on there and put a nail finish on it first. The nail and tool isn't really big enough for the job. I could force it in that way, but it puts a lot of strain and stress on the lear, and it's not that important. I'm just going to part it off and then machine two flats on it. Make sure there's enough clearance between that, that jaw. Make sure there is clearance is clearance. I keep mentioning this this parting tool, but this bang good parting tool has been absolutely amazing. Make sure that's clear before you start things up. with the spam cut I know we didn't eat that tonight. Possibly before the week we made. Put the face back on. Well the machine's the next thing that's gonna need a clean, a real thorough clean and probably use a cob run them stewing just to clean that up as well. This face has actually got two dolls that go under there. And then a real tight fit in there, and basically it lines the vase up pretty well, perfectly. I didn't do that, I was like that when I bought the 
when I bought the milling machine the vice came with it but you go into that slot deep tight fit and that's the vice basically crammed up I've had a few people ask us what vice it is it hasn't got any names on it's just the vice um, the jaws weren't very good to me a new jaws for it and I'm not sure I made a feed nut for this one as well or for another one a different one I had but it is a nice sturdy vice just the right size for this machine it's not in the centre of the table as to this side it pays you to keep the vice one side or the other and keep moving it around then it means all the way is not on one part of the, of the table you're not doing that all the time in the one place I'm just going to screw this bolt through here then I can hold the bolt in a collet block just to machine two flats on or four flats I haven't decided it's probably just two A bit of room for the cutter. This is a bit of real spanner of use for the purists. Oh, sad hands, I've got that handle more times. Okay, so basically, we can machine. The flat on there, I will put a support in there here, the flat on there turned over and the flat on the other side, just so you can get a spanner in there then. strange when I picked it up straight away that's the one I was looking for before nice I've had a few people comment about this I don't know where it come from either I bought it or I got it given it's been who made but when I got that wedge I was missing, I made a new wedge for in there. Quite simple how it works. Turn that in and it goes up parallel. Just a little support, that's all that needs. Really I should have done that before I put that cutter in because what that cutter wants to do there is tear the back of my hand open and that's just not got enough height the bastard thing <laughs> oh. yeah that'll be better
Just a supporter, that's all. And advice is really tight. Ooh. I want to lock off the, the table to make sure I do not catch the collar chuck with that cutter. I run this fairly slowly, I have to change the belts around a little bit. Gently because I don't want to get the cutter too hot. It's not with cutting water on just for the two little cuts. That's three mil and that looks pretty good. It's certainly a, a big enough flat to get a adjustable spanner on or whatever he wants to use for it. I could put four on. I'll do two for a start and then see what it looks like. Get a fail, I just dress those two edges off. That's it done. I could set this up and mill those shampers on before the tapes would have failed. It's not really worth the effort. That's not, not too shabby at all. We clean down and then hopefully I get the lad to send a picture of it doing its job. That bolt should be long enough for him to just stand at 12 mil so he can do whatever he likes with it. Last whatever that. <laughs> 